Good Monday evening, everybody. Live and direct from House on it, kind of halfway in shade and halfway in sunlight right now. So the camera may be a little bit wibbly wobbly when it comes to watching how bright the light levels are. And I probably shouldn't have worn a white shirt for this afternoon into this evening as well. Currently looking at some beautiful conditions in around the Mid South area. We have no major problems to be seen right now, but we could be changing into a possible severe weather situation as we get into the course of the next couple of days. Now, Nothing immediate, but again, we could be showing some more problems as we get into the course of the next uh, couple of days, mainly back into around Wednesday or so, and then maybe by week's end. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Hopefully you had a quiet day across much of the area. Let's see how things were doing out there where it comes to quiet conditions on earthquakes from the New Madrid Fault and looking around the area just to the northwest Tennessee, southern Missouri, eastern Arkansas area. We do not have anything showing up in the way of earthquakes in the last 24 hours, courtesy from the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. If you'd like to see more about what goes on there, all you have to do is go to uh, memphis.edu slash CERI, that's the Center for Earthquake Research and Information, and you get tons of details there about earthquakes in the Mid-South and well beyond all over the planet. Really great information there and a cool degree program that they've got there as well. Vector Vanderbilt built traffic cameras from the uh, TDOT SmartWay camera system showing again some uh, decent amounts of usual uh, backups at this point in time. Looks like something fairly nasty going on around I-240 and Perkins this evening. Uh, possibility of Looks like a pretty good wreck taking place right in the middle lanes at this point, and a whole bunch of others going on out across portions of the rest of the Mid-South area. Uh, take a look at SIG alert traffic and show you that we had, again, some pretty good backups taking place right back around uh, areas close to I-240 and Lamar between there and Perkins. Also on the westbound leg of 240 between Walnut Grove and Poplar, and also an accident showing up into and around the area of Bill Morris Parkway and one downtown around I-40 and it looks like around the exit one area close to the pyramid and the uptown area so traveling this afternoon and this evening could be a little bit dangerous uh, make certain you are able to slow it down out there as we see again the potential for more of these delays again rush hour nothing to be messed around with so please use that uh, as a guide for later on more of this information available from WREG.com so stay tuned for more information on that and and great opportunity to find out more about what's going on with weather in the Mid-South at, at WREG.com slash webcams if you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South right now. Rainfall, an area of low pressure well back over to our east and moving its way away from the Mid-South. Nothing in the way of a threat for us, but we will continue again to see some rain showers well to our east. Our next storm system is coming from out west, and it's not going to be here, it looks like, for a while to come. But a couple of days as the system gets a little bit closer to to us as it works its way over parts of the Rockies and into the Plain States. That's where we may see uh, the possibility of rain, of flash flooding rainfall, and also the possibility of severe thunderstorms in that yellow shaded hatched area just to the Mississippi River and areas west. We could be looking at that as we go into Wednesday afternoon and evening, quite possibly around Thursday or so. Let's take a look and see what's going on with the forecast at this time. The graphic forecast from the National Weather Service in Memphis showing Temperatures expected tonight fairly cool under mostly clear skies back in the upper 40s to around the lower 50s. Heading into tomorrow, temperatures again very much on the mild side and plenty of sunshine out there. We're expecting minimal cloud cover, so very nice as we go into Tuesday. Low temperatures Tuesday night, not quite as cool, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. And then high temperatures on Wednesday will be a little bit cooler to the west of the Mississippi River thanks to that extra cloud cover coming on through. And it looks like we'll be seeing showers and thunderstorms develop through the day into the afternoon and into the evening hours so expecting more as we go toward Wednesday night but the best chance will be west of the river early and then more chances of showers and thunderstorms overspreading the entire News Channel 3 viewing area right on into Thursday morning and that's where we're going to have to watch and see what goes on. Could be some breezy winds out there as well. Wind gusts topping 20 miles per hour are possible Wednesday night. Thursday, temperatures back in the lower to mid 70s with again showers and thunderstorms looks like dwindling and starting to move out of the picture becoming just showers by late Thursday and into around early Thursday night 
overnight Friday morning. A few more scattered showers out there. Way too warm for anything but rainfall. Temperatures back in the mid-50s or so to around 60 degrees. By Friday, chances of showers and thunderstorms once again with high temperatures back in the upper 70s to the lower 80s and more chances of showers and it looks like thunderstorms throughout the morning into the afternoon. Fairly Again, limited at first, but then more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we get into Friday night and early Saturday morning. Could be some possible problems for the Mid-South out there. What exactly are we looking for? Well, as of right now, again, for tonight, day one forecast showing little, if anything, a generic threat of thunderstorms back to the Midwest and over toward the Carolina coast states. That's again for tonight. Let's take a look at tomorrow, and you'll see that severe weather threat for day two start to materialize around West Central Missouri, Southeast Kansas, and Northeastern parts of Oklahoma. That'll be the beginning portion of that storm system getting a little bit more organized. And then we get into Wednesday, and then we see the possibility of a fairly widespread threat of severe weather coming on through. This one, again, giving us the possibility of Maybe it looks like damaging winds and large hail, but we cannot at this time of the year rule out the possibility of isolated tornadoes. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be watching. And let's go a little bit further ahead into the days four through eight forecast as we go through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We see again the possibility of a decent threat coming up as we go toward the end of the week, sticking around for the weekend and right on into this next weekend as well. So we could be seeing some more active weather. When you see signs like this, coming in from the National Weather Service and the Storm Prediction Center, especially when they start looking at this this far ahead of schedule, you know you've got something going on. So this is something that is going to be very important to watch over the next several days, and that is exactly what we will be doing on News Channel 3, so keep it tuned for more on that. What's available to look at in the skies tonight? We'll have more details on that on our astronomy portion of our web, our web blog. If you'd like to know more about the satellites overhead and a great celebration of a big accomplishment in in orbit today from one of the astronauts spending more time on the International Space Station. We'll talk about that. That's coming up in our Skyblog segment, and we'll be recording that a little bit later on this evening. If you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on with the weather, check in with Tim and Jim. They'll have the forecast throughout the rest of the evening coming up on News Channel 3 at 6 with Tim and News Channel 3 at 10 with Jim. And then tomorrow morning, don't forget about Todd Demers. He'll have more on your forecast bright and early on Tuesday, including an update on the severe weather chances out there. My email address, austin.onic at w .com. It should be right here, but it looks like the computer ate it for some reason. And we'll have more details again throughout the rest of the week on News Channel 3, on air and online. Thanks for joining me for tonight's edition of our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. And stick around for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the week on air and online.